Russia has selected India over China to construct four non-nuclearized breaker ships valued over 6,000 crore rupees. Indian and US defense officials will sign the $3.3 billion contract for 31 MQ-9B drones in New Delhi tomorrow. Saga Defense has won the IDEX challenge to develop two-man tactical aerial vehicle. The Cabinet Committee on Security has granted clearance to the new missile test range in Andhra Pradesh. The Indian Army is actively exploring the potential of weaponized robot dogs to bolster its capabilities against drone threats. JSR Dynamics has showcased its blended wing body UAV airframe, that could be as large as the Iranian Shahi 238. Bharat Heavy Electricals Limited has announced a partnership with Italy's Leonardo, to bid for the supply of 220 air defense guns and ammo worth 6,500 crore rupees. Due to the lack of progress in CAMOF 226 deal with Russia, the Indian Army is considering to double its order for the indigenous light utility helicopter to 220 units. China has built a new colony 38 kilometers away from the place where there was a conflict with China in 2020, an area which is close to Pangong Lake. As the Indian Navy aims to procure 10 Tapas UAVs, the DRDO has started integration of multi-parameter phased array radar, and a synthetic aperture radar with the Tapas drone. Latest satellite imagery reveals that the new dry dock under construction at Cochin shipyard has been flooded, that signifies a crucial step towards its completion. Indian Army's T-90 tanks and Indian Air Force's Apache attack helicopters took part in joint exercise aero what wings. Experts have said, that India might have missed a significant opportunity by not negotiating with Russia for the local development of a 120 kN thrust variant of the AL-51 F1 engine for the AMCA program. The 176 kN AL-51 F1 engine powers the Su-57, that allows it to achieve a cruising speed of Mach 2, which is a crucial feature for fifth-generation aircraft. A lower thrust variant derived from this technology could have been a perfect match for a medium-class stealth fighter jet like India's AMCA, and this approach would have been far more beneficial than continuing to rely solely on engines from Western suppliers, which come with restrictions on technology transfer. Russia is set to propose its BMP-3 infantry fighting vehicles with significant local manufacturing and transfer of technology for India's prestigious FICV program, that was initiated to replace its aging fleet of BMP-2, which have long outlived their operational utility. Its armament suite includes a 100mm cannon missile launcher, a 30mm automatic cannon, and a 7.62mm machine gun integrated into a weapon station, and two 7.62mm hull-mounted machine guns. To address diverse threats from hail and mail class UAVs and loitering munitions, the Indian Air Force has sought low-cost options to tackle them, instead of using expensive air-to-air -air missiles costing more than $1 million. The DRDO is looking to convert infrared homing man pads for use with the Loyal Wingman and other unmanned platforms, while a more long-term cost-effective solution involves developing a new generation of mini air to air missiles, that will feature smaller explosive warheads, and a novel dual-seeker technology to further drive down costs. Today's Top 3 Comments Oh, Mark, drop it.